For the Tin Man project, you can use various geometric solids in order to make your Tin Man, and then you're going to cover the surface area with aluminum foil, uh, tin being a much more expensive um, <laughs> um, element to, to use. So you can see kind of from this kind of shape, this flattened shape, if you were to then kind of build it into a solid by rolling it up, Hopefully you can see that this here is a cylinder. So I'm going to draw the what it looks like in 3D. So it kind of uh, looks more ovally, like an oval when you do it. Okie dokie. And then you can kind of, the other part that we're going to ask you to do is identify the basis. So the base is kind of the when they have the same top and bottom, and this is a circle. And then the face, this is the face here, and that is a rectangle. Now, in order to calculate the surface area, I'm going to first start with the circle. So this is my, sh this is the, the cylinder that I'm going to be using. And so I'm going to first start with the base. So I'm going to kind of clearly, when I'm setting my work up, identify what I'm doing. I'm going to write any important formulas. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. Um, all of our measurements are going to be in centimeters. So measure in centimeters. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure it. Okay, so I'm going to kind of pre-measure pre -measure this one already. So this here from, and once again, we're going to be measuring the radius and the radius is um, from the outer edge to the center of the circle. And this is two centimeters. Now I think it's, so you're going to want to measure, put your measurements on your actual drawing. So I'm going to say radius equals two centimeters. Then I'm going to substitute in the values. Pi is 3.14, the radius, which is 2, and then I'm going to square that, and then I'm going to multiply my stuff out, which I've already done ahead of time, although that's a value that when you do lots of circles you should, you will, you will memorize. Um, and then once again, this is how many like kind of square centimeters of, of aluminum foil would cover this, okay? So it's, so centimeters times centimeters gives us centimeter squared. So that's one of the circles. And then I have my face, which is the rectangle. And once again, write any important formulas, necessary formulas. So it's length times width is how you would get the area of a rectangle. And now if you think about this, so if I if this was like a can of you know soup or something like that, and I took my can opener, I opened it up. Okay, and pop the lid, basically I went all the way around that circle. So when you go all the way around a circle, that is the circumference. So this piece here, I'm going to kind of highlight it here. So this piece here was just what I just did. I removed my, using a can opener, you know, I removed my lid, and that's the same length as this. So this, this length here, is equivalent to the circumference of my circle. And the circumference formula, so I'm going to write it down here, circumference formula is pi times diameter. So you might just leave a little refresher. So when you're looking at a circle, we talked about that the radius is from the outer edge to the center, and the diameter is through the center and all the way across or basically two radiuses is two radii is equal to the diameter. So once again, I could there's I have a couple of choices here. Since you actually have a physical object, one possibility is you could take you know, just kind of measuring tape and go around and measure it. Um, but I'm going to just show you how to do the calculation. So, you know, once again, you probably are going to just take your ruler and use a tape measure and measure that. Um, but I'm going to say that the length right here we said is the circumference, which is pi times diameter, and then I still need to multiply it by the width. So 3.14, the radius was 2, 
So the diameter is twice that amount, so four centimeters. And then my, I'm gonna take my trusty ruler and I'm going to measure, this camera's measuring everything in centimeters. So this is a five centimeter tall, the height of this, and I can actually put this on here, the height equals five centimeters or whatever width, whatever. <laughs> the names don't always quite make sense. And then I'm gonna multiply that all out and I get 62.8 centimeters squared because it's centimeters times centimeters centimeters squared. Now to get the whole surface area, I had a circle, 12.56, so I'm putting a little circle plus another circle put a little dot in the center just to represent that that's a, not a zero but a circle with a rate uh, with a center plus the rectangles area so this gave me the surface area of this entire shape oopsie centimeter squared which is 87.92 centimeters squared and that should actually have a zero to be technically correct okay so when you're going to ask for tin foil or aluminum foil for this particular shape, it would be 87 or 88 centimeters. Now you might be not, because this might end up attaching to something. For example, you might actually have it attaching to some other piece. Then you would only give me, you know, with one less circle because you're not gonna need aluminum foil to cover that little piece. So be thinking about that as you're doing your measurements. Now, um, for the volume, we talked about that the, the general formula for volume of a prism is down here, which is volume equals base times height. And when we're doing that, we are writing it as a capital B because it's, we're talking about the base shape. I'm talking about that right there. And what is that base area? To find the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. So once again, we're looking for the area of the base times the height. So the area of the circle is pi r squared times the height. And then I'm going to substitute my values in pi is 3.14, the radius as we measure it is 2 squared, and we said the height is 5, so I get 12.56 times 5, or 62.80 centimeters, and once again, now this is centimeters squared, times another centimeter, so this ends up being cubed. So basically how many, about 63 little, here's a centimeter. So in this shape, it would take about 63 centimeters to fill this shape. Okay, centimeters cubed, that's a little bit big for the size. Okay, um, so once again, make sure you include your units Include them on your net. I think it's also helpful to do it here as well. Two centimeters, five centimeters, um, so that you have that when you go around. And so it's easy for your, your, your group mates as well as for me to figure out whether you have all the information that you need. And also, because there's so much information here, it's also probably good to box your answers to make it clear for um, people that are looking at your paper. Okay, so use this as a kind of a structural guideline when you're doing your cylinders, and good luck. Looking forward to seeing your projects.